In the last video, we looked at this motor here. I have a little uh, fan blade on there. It was not doing so good at uh, even relatively low voltages. I needed to slide these up. It's doing a lot better and uh, tighten it down. And so I have been able to put three volts on it without it making the grinding noise now that I did that. That's all I had to do. But in any case, we saw that even when it was uh, not uh, set up properly, we were getting starting to get a grinding noise at about uh, 1.5 volts. So what I was going to do anyways is uh, take a voltage regulator because often the uh, breadboard power supply, whatever you're powering the breadboard or whatever circuitry you're working with, a lot of stuff is 5 volts. So that's really common, 5 volts. The fan, uh, the motor I should say, is only a 3 volt motor. So here is an LM317 right there. It's a voltage regulator. This is an adjustable one. They all are adjustable actually, but uh, this one's intended to be adjustable. It's the positive version. There's the LM337 for a negative voltage. But in any case, we will uh, use this to get about 1.25 volts. So the pin to the right there, which is now the top pin, is the input. The middle pin is the output. And the bottom pin is the adjust. We're going to put it directly to ground. And uh, we could use a voltage divider resistors to uh, set a voltage. It'll be 1.25 volts higher. The heat sink on the back helps dissipate heat. These get really hot. We're going to be dropping 5 volts to 1.25 volts and a fair amount of current so that's heat. This heat sink I got separately and there's a little thermal pad there the uh, screw those all came uh, separately I bought them I think on Amazon a long time ago so in any case putting the input to the positive supply the output the middle pin to that yellow jumper there and the adjust the bottom pin to the gray jumper Going to ground right now, we're giving it 0 volts, so it'll be 1.2 volts higher, therefore 1.25 volts. Now, we have uh, power supply, 5 volts, I'm going to set the output on. Just with everything floating, you're supposed to use two little resistors, according to the dash sheet, a little less than uh, one microfarad each, and uh, so that may uh, solve our problem right there, but as you can see, we have almost the supply voltage. I'm just going to take this resistor here, and maybe the capacitor would work too. But uh, for demonstration purposes, we're going to uh, set the resistor there. And now, when we look at the output uh, voltage, now you can see we got basically the 1.25 volts, as we said before. Now, I got uh, this capacitor here because I'm going to power the fan right now. So this is going to go to our output here. I'm going to set it off so we leave a little space. And then uh, this alligator clip, clip uh, crimped to a jumper there. We're going to connect the ground. We're going to connect the fan. And the fan does have about uh, 1.25 volts. There you can see we got about uh, one amp of current going through there. And one interesting thing is, I'll turn the uh, power supply off, if I take the fan off of the motor, now it's been, you can see it's less current right there. So I'm going to put the fan back on. Now, we got uh, the multimeter. I'm going to turn the power supply back on. We're going to try to take a look at the voltage be an output right now if I don't drop the motor I'm trying to hold the uh, two of them together there we go and I'm going to hold the uh, red probe that hand to the output you're going to see something interesting when I connect to a uh, ground the fan loses power right there so probably messing with the uh, voltage sensing circuitry within there that's why I have this little capacitor here. So I'm going to uh, wire that, hopefully without blocking your view, from the output to ground. So it's polarized, the output's more positive, and so ground, more negative, we got uh, back there. 
fan's still going. And now we'll try to take a look at uh, the voltage. I should have paid attention to what it said uh, before. So I gotta hold it. And uh, there we go. Now we can go anywhere to uh, the negative supply. And there you can see, we got about uh, 1.25 volts approximately right there. And now I decided to just put the capacitors in there. So this is about 0.1 microfarad and this is about half of a microfarad right there. So that one's going from positive supply to the output and uh, this one's going from the output to the adjust. And uh, we're going to see that uh, that solves the uh, problems for the most part when it comes to uh, voltage. So we got to go straight across from the where the three jumpers are plugged in. Now there's no load right now. This is not connected uh, to anything. This does not uh, solve the uh, problem. So I'll zoom back. We saw we need to see up close. So we got uh, five volts there. And when I measure the uh, voltage, now you're gonna see that uh, it is uh, close to five volts right there. So it seems to be whatever I said the voltage, it'll be about 0.7 volts less if there is no load. So. Now I'm going to attach the uh, fan again, and then we'll take voltage measurement again. So now all I got, I don't have that resistor or the capacitor, my little makeshift uh, solution. Now I just have the fan going, and we'll take a look at uh, the voltage. So there we go. And there you can see across the fan is about uh, one point, approximately two five volts in that range. Holding pretty steady uh, right there once I get a good connection. So those capacitors are a must, it looks like. But uh, in any case, I'm going to leave the makeshift in there because I attempted uh, problem solving. And uh, even though it wasn't the uh, right solution, I'm going to leave it in there. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.